my head looks really really big in this shot it's kind of funny looking so I'm getting ready to take a midweek trip for a job related activity and I thought I would take you guys along we're headed somewhere towards Bangkok they really don't tell us a lot around here <laughs> but uh, we're headed somewhere towards Bangkok and uh, stay tuned I'm gonna take you with me let's see what happens we are officially on our way and we are going to Prachi. Prachin Buri. We are headed to Prachin Buri uh, for this work related event and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you guys know I'm not a big fan of riding in minivans or buses, but I gotta tell you, we are in a large minivan and uh, the seats are actually very comfortable. Um, even more so than some of the buses I've been on here in Thailand. So maybe the ride will be cool, maybe it won't. I don't know, but I'll keep you guys posted. Real quick, guys, because we're about to pull off. We stopped at a gas station to get some uh, food and a little toilet break. And I'll just show you guys that all these little stations along the way, they have these little hot grills that they cook chicken and other things in. You can also go to a, a fruit stand, like behind me right here. So anytime you're traveling most of the main roads uh, through Thailand that connect larger cities, anytime you stop, there's always gonna be plenty of choices for food and drink and uh, the actual the toilets. One of the things I like more about Thailand than the Philippines as far as traveling on the road goes is the toilets and the restrooms at these travel stops are really, really nice. Um, it's kind of surprising. So. If you're ever out traveling uh, Thailand, just know that toilets should be no problem. Many of you often ask, what is my number one tip for travelers, people that want to travel? What is the number one thing I can tell you you should always do when you travel? Make sure you have wipes. They come in handy for everything. Wiping your hands, wiping anything else you need wiped, cleaning off tables so you can eat without feeling nasty and gunky, wiping the sweat off your face. They're just good to have. That's my number one tip. So I have made it to this wonderful hotel. Um, I was gonna try to get a room by myself, but I think I'll be okay. It's really nice here. Look at this behind me. Yeah, really nice place, huge hotel here. Not even sure what the name of it is, but um, I do have to say that looks pretty nice and we're headed towards the swimming pool and this little makeshift pond thing that they have i'm currently walking through wet grass bear with me let me see if i can get over on the cement and check out the waterfall in the background that's not really a waterfall but you guys get the point right there's some kind of little makeshift water area <laughs> here in the middle with some cool little fountains and we'll walk down here and check out the swimming pool did not bring a bathing suit probably a good thing because the truth is nobody actually wants to see me in a bathing suit just saying so behind me is the swimming pool pretty nice pretty nice and we'll take a look there's a huge pond that way kind of see it in the background it's a lot probably it would probably be a lot nicer if my bee head wasn't in front of it but anyway looks kind of nice and now I am going to take some pictures and you can see the hotel behind me pretty cool so I found myself in the middle of somewhere slash Thailand <laughs> and this is the second bite of food I have ever had in my life with chopsticks, and this is probably not gonna go very well, okay? Mm. Mm. Now, the question is, can I pick up real food with chopsticks? <laughs> not that hard to get some noodles on there. Mm. Also had one of these. That was either what shrimp or or squid right 
It was either shrimp or squid. I don't know which one it was, but it tasted like barbecue. <laughs> so, night market, provincial Thailand, later. At this point, I am not prepared to say that God is on my side, but I am prepared to say that something cool just happened. <laughs> my roommate at this beautiful freaking, look at this place. Can you guys see this room? Oh, so nice. My roommate um, came in and said, I'm going to be up late. I don't want to keep you awake, so I'm going to find another room to stay in. I said, well, sir, you have a great night. <laughs> so I will now indulge in some beauty rest, much needed beauty rest, and uh, prepare for tomorrow's event. I ate some kind of funky Thai dish for supper. Uh, pretty sure you guys saw that. And the translation, the Thai translation to English is glass noodles. Which kind of makes sense because it does look like glass noodles a little bit. But it start, the actual dish starts with a P. I can't pronounce any of this stuff. I really need to learn Thai. Really need to learn Thai. Um, yeah. So anyway, bedtime. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good morning everyone, it is 5.30 in the a.m. and it is time to get day number two started. As you can tell, I'm very excited to be awake. Sometimes you just have to ride in the back of a tuk-tuk. I have no idea where I'm at or what town I'm in. I just know it starts with a peak.